Hey, welcome to the stream, Targ Stomp. Thanks for that sub there. First sub of the day, because we are just starting, and I just hit the record button, so welcome everybody on YouTube, and of course the people here that are already in Twitch chat, ready to go today. We have a fun day of magic for uh, today with a, a bunch of new decks. So we have four donation decks um, on the docket for today. Rakdos Audience, Wars of Control, Naya Dinosaurs, Esper Angels. Should be a fun day. Hey, Napolia. Napolia? However that's pronounced. Um, we're starting with Rakdos Audience, though. So we have, we're going to try to win with Captive Audience. Uh, in our black red control deck, um, so this will be this will be pretty interesting to see uh, how we uh, how we do with this. We got some Orzov relics to help us ramp into it, which I'm ac actually like. I like that in the treasure map. I think that's pretty good. Um, Cryther Carnarium is, is a good sweeper, but you know we don't have like a, a big sweeper in the main deck if our opponent has like big creatures. But if that's the case, we got Star of Extinctions in the sideboard though, so. We're good to go there. Um, and uh, no, I actually, I like the Relic. I actually, I don't think Relic's bad. I actually like it. Like, I, I think that the, the ramp is, you know, I've played a lot of Chromatic Lantern, and uh, the ramp's important, and then being able to just gain three life with it is kind of nice, too. Like, that, that can certainly come up. So I like it. All right, so let's try some Rakdos Audience. I also like the duress is in the main. I wanted to say that that I think that duress in this format is just kind of good against everybody, and I think that's a, a perfectly fine main board card. Um, yeah, I like it. Rakdos audience. Um, no, Jory K. Yep, this is this is it. Uh, call sign. Uh, I made a Simic Adapt deck today. I need to learn to play it well. Got some bad matches today. That can happen. I mean, some days you just have bad matches and everything. Hey, MTG Nurgle, up early. Beginning of the stream, welcome. Uh, NYC says, super new, but he used to play paper years ago. I was told by a few players that you are the guy to watch to learn. They say you can learn more in your stream than others. Oh, that's that's uh, very kind from the recommendations that you're getting there. Well, welcome to the stream. Hope uh, Hope you enjoy it. All right, we're keeping this because of treasure map. Certainly don't want to mulligan a treasure map opener. And might as well fire this off right away. That's the problem with firing it off right away. I was doing it because I was going to treasure map turn two anyway. But they probably just put like a find finality or something like that on, on top. No, you. Yes. Swing and a miss. Just doing your homework. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jody? Hope you've been doing well. We have two famous streamers here in chat. They, if y'all aren't following, you should go give a follow to MTG Nurgle a couple minutes ago and Nola Gold here as well. Carnage Tyrant. Couple good friends. Hmm. So I'm certainly need to kill the Llanowar Elf, right? Uh, I guess I have to do it this turn. It's just whether I want to use the Shock or the Cry. I guess I'm going to use Shock. And just have Treasure Map it in. The Cry is just kind of not, not going to really do anything, though, with, with that dead. So we're going to upkeep scry. We certainly need lands. So we're going to be up, upkeep scry and looking for them. I mean, cast down's good, but I'd rather have a land. Need to get to this captive audience. Okay. Oh, I didn't have that. I wanted that upkeep scry. I 
and it just goes away. All right, put it back. Yeah, we got a captive audience deck here. Could have had that land drop last turn. Let me get these treasures. I'm going to need them. I wish Cry would actually kill creatures. I guess I'm just dead. Yeah, I guess I'm dead. Getting stuck there on land. Hmm. Because this Wild Growth Walker is going to be four power. Contempted, I go to seven. They still have seven. Uh, I can't, like, Karn and anything. Cry doesn't kill stuff. All right, so first game, Ritual of Soot would have been amazing. Cry was horrible. So that's just kind of, you know, we'll kind of just keep that under advisement. Just, you know, Ritual of would have actually killed things. Cry didn't. Uh, let's make that change. Wonder if, like, maybe we should just have, uh, maybe we should just have, like, a combination of both in the in the main and the side instead of just three Cry in the main and three Soot in the, in the sideboard. Like, maybe it should just be a little bit of a, a combination there. The win condition with this deck is is captive audience, uh, playing this and uh, killing the opponent with the five two twos that it makes, making their life total four, and all that kind of stuff. You know, like it. This is the main win condition of the deck. For bringing in these seven mana starve extinctions, we probably can't have. Um, probably can't have a bunch of audiences maybe two Let's see so this this is 63 here yeah we don't need the mana fixing with chromatic lantern but the life gain the relic can provide um can you know be be uh helpful um I'm honestly not sure if i really like the Siege Gang Commander in this matchup. Just kind of make some chump blockers. If we're playing Ritual and Star, do I need this for chump blockers? Maybe not. Yeah, I took out the. Uh, yeah, I took out one duress for a bedevil. Maybe I should be cutting a couple more, but duress usually does stuff in this matchup. I think I fired it off too early, but it turned out it wasn't going to do anything with that specific game. No, my treasure map. That's where we're at. 274 more YouTube subscribers until we do a 12-hour stream. Almost there. Also, 27 Twitch subscribers as well. So, yeah, go ahead and go follow along on YouTube. There's the link right there. If you want to see any of the replays. Tried a teamer Vanifer list yesterday with Rhythm of the Wild, and it's been very strong. Turn two, yeah, turn two. I mean, two, turn two Rhythm is is amazing. Yes, I I completely agree that when you have Rhythm on turn two, it is amazing. Um, I know Angrath could minus and steal the Wild Growth Walker and kill it, 
but I want Angrath taken up. I want to. I want to attack their hand. So I am just. I'm keeping the. No so I'm fire. just getting the the wild growth no walker out of there. Now I want to just be attacking their hand. So we get a Vivian. That's good. Oh, Deckmaster. Good call. Hmm. Well, this is a card I'll minus and take. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. Yeah, so so we get to draw the card. Oh, and I played my land already, and then we had Memorial there. Yeah, I could certainly see the Memorials not really being worth it in this deck with only just a couple creatures. Tap lands are... are uh, tap lands do have no a, fire, a pretty no big downside. Angrath's awesome, though. Angrath feels really good in this format. With a bunch of Krasis and stuff. Kind of wish we had some more Angraths. Maybe instead of like the... Those five mana creatures. Uh, the Siege King Commanders. Great point. I drew the land in the end step with Folly. Folly was end step. That's a good point. Um... At least we don't have a creature in our deck, so don't have to really worry about Chupacabra doing anything. You don't like the Mardu control list you've tried? Really? Did you try that Mardu control list we played the other day? It was really sweet. I liked no it quite a bit. Fire, no steel. But it's Mardu control is an archetype that I think that there is. Um, I think it has a lot of really good tools and. That's an archetype that I'm uh, wanting to uh, tune further. Relic doesn't draw so cards. Relic can gain life. Oh, and it does draw a card. Yeah, you're right. But anyway, I was thinking the gain life. But yeah, it draws a card too. Man, it's even better than I thought. Anyway, you, you do need to ascend to be able to do that. And we have not ascended. That can't so. help you now. That wasn't an, an option. Anyway. No fire, no steel. We're just gonna have this Angrath kill him. Uh, don't Temple Garden is singular; it's not plural. So don't type Temple Gardens. Just, but um, if. If that's not the problem, just try reset. Just the usual prob the usual fix to arena is just log off and log back in. There, there is three main deck creatures, but I sideboarded them out. Balance comes. Yeah, we have an Arch of Araska, um, and a Field of Ruin in the sideboard. Yeah, Angrath is the the coolest Planeswalker in the game for voices and animations and stuff. And there we go. Yeah, we need, we needed. I wanted the uh, branch walker to have a counter, uh, so we could Angrath steal it, and uh, I guess I'd rather coil the. Uh, I'll coil this. So yeah, we can Angrath steal it, hit Vivian, but Vivian had three loyalty. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair price. Ah, not again.
Yeah, Angros Minus 3 is real good against these Krasises, too. <laughs> Vivian's over there sounding like her car won't start. Uh, not again. <laughs> The red deck wins player was playing Evolving Wilds. I guess that's for Experimental Frenzy. They must be playing Experimental Frenzy if they're playing Evolving Wilds to reset the library. No fire. No steel. All right, they're down to seven. Where's this captive audience? Can't imagine they keep Wild Growth Walker. Uh oh, that one's annoying. Draw card. Ugh. This is a zip point. This is one. So I mean, I can minus three and do four to them, but then my Angrath's dead. Or I can tick up, put him down to five, and then Angrath's dead, I guess. I guess either way, Angrath's dead. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. We're so close to killing him. So close. Ugh. We were so close. All right, Mass, take care. This isn't the best use of a Star of Extinction, but I don't want my Karn to get killed. Um... We have Arch of Orozco in the deck, yeah. We have it in there. Yeah, so we can Karn, Shock the Jade Light. Um, but then we're probably starring, like, quickly afterwards. I think it's the best just to get Karn in play as fast as possible. So we'll, we'll go with the Karn Shock route. Alright, we're going to be able to audience next turn. Presumably. Can minus Karn, get captive audience, give it to him. is needed. Hmm. Because they get to choose, like, discard your hand first. Life total becomes four can actually just be life gain with Doom Whisper in play. Hey, Todd. Um... I kind of assume that they're gonna find they're gonna look for a duress. They they know about the star of extinction in my hand. So I feel like they're gonna look for a duress. 
with Doom Whisperer. I mean, the captive audience is, is better the earlier we play it. I'm gonna play it. If I'm not playing captive audience, what am I really doing here? We can start next turn. So yeah, they they sh they're probably gonna choose uh, discard your hand. Yep. That was sweet. That was cool. I'm really surprised they didn't surveil it all with the Doom Whisperer. Wherever I go, being ruthless has a That's really annoying. Hmm. That didn't work out. As far as things that worked out, that was not one of them. I live in Roanoke, Virginia. Farewell, and thank you. And yeah, it started snowing here today. Got a little bit of snow on the ground now, but oh my gosh. And then Midnight Reaper to draw cards off the Star of Extinction? Wow. That could not have gone worse. They didn't even sur they didn't even pay life to surveil those two amazing cards. Those are like two like the best cards they could have. Vraska kills the captive audience and then Midnight Reaper is a draw three. I've suffered worse. And they didn't even put those on top, like those are just their top cards. Are you certain of your decision? Hmm. Finish, finishing this opponent out's getting pretty tough. Okay. That's that was not an expected concession there. Man, they're playing. They're playing little Vraska to sack my captive audiences. That's real rude. I don't want these bedevils. No, yeah, I, I agree. I don't I don't really like the follies either. Roanoke to DC is like a little over three hours, like three hours, 15 minutes or so. Um, hmm. If we do play the Bedevils. I don't need the shocks. I can go down to like one shock. We have ritual of sit also. So maybe just I'm just gonna cut shock. And do I want a, a blood fast or a spy glass? Or another duress? I'll play a blood fast. So like that game that we don't have a, a whole lot of card advantage in our deck. Um so I want this blood fast in here to help us out. Good. Bedevil's two black, one red. Oh, I guess it doesn't 
really matter. But this will do. Hmm. I'll wait on the duress this time. Give them a couple more turns to draw that Vivian or find finality. Those are the cards I want to hit. Alright, treasure map was a great draw here. Help us get our land drops. Hmm. Alright, so I'm definitely scrying with treasure map, because I'm going to try to Ritual of Soot next turn. I think I need a Duress here, though, because they could potentially have Vivian next turn. And I can't really deal... Like, I need to be able to take Vivian. I mean, that, that hand's not that... That hand's good for us. It's not a very good hand. Bottom. See if we draw this land. Hmm. We did not. So I'm going to... Do I just cast down now? I guess I'll probably just cast down and just kill this branch walker so I don't take more damage. I don't know. We'll, we'll scry here and see what we get. Yeah, the, the Bedevil kills the, the Tyrant also. Either of these. They're a long ways away from that. Also. Okay, we are getting the land. Alright, we'll just we'll just take the damage. I guess with us we could we had the ability to flip treasure map there anyway. Alright, so we're at nine. Twilight Prophet. So I got Coil for the two Midnight Reapers. Or for that thing. We're going to be able to go Captive Audience this next turn. Alright, what do you want, opponent? Ooh. The audience. <laughs> Thanks, Big Pop. It pops. Alright, they're down to four. They didn't want to discard their hand. Jaya doesn't help captive audience at all. Jaya only adds mana for instance and sorceries. Alright, discard your hand. <clears throat> or five two twos. Discard your hand. Alright, there goes five cards. Get those all out of here. Oh, I have to use a, a treasure for this bedevil. Stupid auto tap. I think we're doing okay, though. All right. We got the first match. Captive audience. All we need is our opponent not to ever have black mana. Have a bunch of black cards in their hand they can't play.
Why would you play Argyle's Bloodfast when you have zero creatures that you can sacrifice? Because it's about drawing cards. It does a lot of, you know, like you can use your life total as a resource to uh, gain, more, gain more cards. If we would have had a game that was like the, the second game where we were just sitting around with a bunch of mana and not having any cards and have plenty of life because we were, killed their things. So we're exactly where we wanted Argyle's Bloodfast. Yeah, the auto tap needed to tap my colorless to help me out there, but didn't do it. All right, want to know? gates with captive audience because you get the ramp spells that's interesting oh uh, really hope we get this third land do I so if I if I scry on upkeep I, I need to just scry on upkeep if like if I don't scry we could get like lucky and be able to play like the uh, the relic and the relic can scry with the treasure map I again wish this cry was a ritual of soot, yet again. And then yeah, our, our tap land doesn't let us play the other treasure map. The tap land's a little rough. Keeps on taking away my upkeep stop when I I keep I have to put it in like three times. Huh. Do I need to cast Cry this turn? I kind of feel like I need to just cast Cry this turn. I don't think I have the ability to upkeep Scry. So we are taking a lot of damage from that 3 2. Every fight makes me stronger. Draw and fire. All right. You have drawn and fired. Not bad for a mouse. Hmm. Well, the memorial, like that black source was nice. Like if it, if it was Field of Ruin, I would not have been able to play my... Like if that was Field of Ruin, I couldn't have played Cry Carnarium earlier. I would have died. Do not become a 4-3. Graveyard that. Good, and then draw land. Okay, we can still survive. We need to just draw a land so I could contempt and gain two life. Yeah, I think Swamp would be better than Memorial Folly, though. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I think we need... I'd just rather have a colored source. Um, let's, let's, let's get to 26 lands. So cast down is going to be good here. Ritual of Soot, very good. Um, Bedevil, good. And get rid of Duress. Do you think four color gates deck is better than teamer gates? No, not really. Hmm. So again, I want to play Star of Extinction. Uh, I guess that means I have to get rid of an audience. And then that's 64. I could just cut the shocks again with us bringing in the Ritual of Sets. Or maybe 
with us having 26 lands, we don't need Relic as much. So if I trim a Relic, I guess trim a Relic and cut the Shock. I'm going to try keeping in Siege Gang Commander this time. It's like the, the difference from last time. I did board in an extra land. Why do you think Relic's a, a terrible card? I mean, it's a... You know, it adds mana and everything. Helps us play these really expensive spells earlier. It's not, you know, a great card or anything like that, but it has a purpose. It's not just... It's not just terrible. Is it better than Rakdos Locket? That's a good question. I could see Rakdos Locket doing a little more for us. We don't get the life gain. And you have to spend mana to draw the cards, but you can do that at, at any time. And you get two cards. Where are the lands? You know, I, I save. I didn't use either of these because I wanted to save it for ritual set. Hmm. We can't just take a whole lot of damage though with this rhythm of the wild giving their creatures haste. Is there anything wizards could do mechanically to avoid the flooding too many non-games? Wow. Talk about a card I wasn't expecting. Well, I got really punished for using the Lava Coil. I wanted to save the instant speed removal with the cast down because of the haste creatures and just kind of forgot about Phoenix. I don't... I don't think that that's the case, honestly. I, I don't think that there's anything wrong with the format. I don't think there's too many non-games. Like, that's not a... I don't, I don't believe that that's necessarily a problem. Yeah, I think that's our best option. I think that's our, our best option, option cheap. Um, getting the treasure map down, let's... Let's cast down the Rekindling Phoenix their next turn, and then untap and ritual sit away the the creature token it makes and the Harpooner, and we hope they play a creature that costs less than three or less. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. <laughs> Get that out of here. That is not a creature costing three or less. I'm kind of surprised they kept Rhythm of the Wild. You know, that, that's just like the card I've been expecting them to play the last couple of turns. I'm kind of surprised they kept Rhythm of the Wild um, when they still had like a really good curve of like after they kept it with the Jade Light when they had Rekindling Phoenix into Vivian. So like they're expecting to like wanting to play it on like turn six, I guess. Like they're, you know, the I wasn't expecting a Phoenix into Vivian shield. curve whenever they kept the Rhythm of the Wild. But working out for them though. Alright, good. Land's a good draw. I really, you know, I want to keep hitting two more land drops to get to the Star of Extinction. If that thing didn't have Trample, 
I would have just made it. I would have just played the car and made it token to block nature. it or something. We need to. We need to rip land land to have a chance. I don't even know if we. I mean, honestly, I don't know if we have a chance even with that. But well, let me put it this way: we're not likely to win even if we do that, but we'll have a chance. No. Good hands for the opponent. We just stumbled. And their hands are really good. And that happens sometimes. Alright, one and one. Deckmaster looks like it's it's working on my side. It's telling me everything's working over here. Um Love the treasure map hand. Yeah, deck master is the thing that lets you hover over the cards, yes. Yep. Stream decker has deck lists online. That's where I put the deck list online. The crash, waiting on you. There we go. Godless shrine. Is this Esper control? Lauren. Oh. Esper not control. I like that it's Esper not control with these Cry of the Carnariums. Rude. Do I want that Arch of Araska? I don't want it. Would it like to ritual sit again? More here where ritual sit can kill that thing. But we use our lava coil and now we get to cry away these things. So it's you know it's still gonna work out for us. Um, but if they had if they had another uh, deputy of detention, it could have been bad. Um, I'll keep that. So I, I'm thinking we need to have these switched: ritual, main deck, cry, sideboard. I had just put that stop there. Guess it didn't work. We drew a decent card though. The duress just kind of cleared out that mortify. Which is good with, with us wanting captive audience, you know. It worked. They put their, their land in tapped before playing that. If they... They could draw... They could have drawn a... Um, 
Like a hostage taker, a four mana card. Really? Why does that just not work? Just never works. We might as well let them hit us with the Thief of Sanity before we start scrying. Because, you know, scrying first doesn't make a lot of sense. Alright, it was land, land, something else. That's not going to help. We're going to have lots of mana, though. Lots of looks at a card. There you go. Cast downs. That's reasonable. That kills the Thief of Sanity. Um... Is like they play like Thought Erasure, so having cards in hand isn't isn't necessarily the best. I'm just gonna pass. I don't... Let's see. Alright, this is working out. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2 with the 2. I'll just activate this. I'm an ice cream, ice cream truck driver. I will fight for my friend. Oh, say hello to my little friend. And I made an Excel, an Excel spreadsheet of nearly 80 daycares nearby to try to set up days for me to go to their daycare. And this cold calling random people is really awkward. Like you, is that like a, a cold calling, like an ice cream truck truck joke? Okay, it wasn't, but it sort of is now. <laughs> okay, uh, so they're playing the the Esper deck. Let's certainly get these Ritual of Soots in there. Other oh, cast down is is really good. Uh, yeah, Bedevil. We just want to kill their kill their stuff. I don't think I need Starve Extinction though. I don't think I need seven ma seven mana Wrath. I, I like Cry and Soot. Um, don't think we need all the Cries though. See, they, they play Mortify. I'm not sure if they're going to keep Mortify in, but Captive Audience is not good against Mortify. I'm going to trim a Captive Audience. Um, I'm going to take Duresses out. And... So we're trimming our, our curve a little bit. We just take Relic out and put in Field of Ruin. Let's go with this. Shock kills things, like kills Hero Precinct 1 and Thief of Sanity and stuff like that. Like, Shock's not so bad in this matchup. As far as I know, Best of Three Ladder is coming on, like, February 1st or February 2nd. Like, right around then. Mm -hmm. 
No thief. All right, so that's going to be Coil. I'm not going to contempt that because I may need contempt for Teferi. So we're going to use Coil here on the Seraph. Even though contempt would use our mana better. Same thing. Second verse, same as the first. Or instant replay. Let's add this Do I want to use my contempt on this Dovin? I think that's like kind of the big question. I can, I can use like the Cry of the Carnarium to kill both their creatures because I can I can attack uh, Dovin with Siege Gain. They block. Then I sack Siege Gain to deal two to the Bell Haunt, and then I cry, and we get rid of their creatures. Um, Why no block if there's no more goblins to eventually shock? Yeah, I mean, just having the 2-2 on the battlefield is a lot better than just not, you know, it's just three damage. Like, one, it's one loyalty on Dovin and three damage. Like, that's not worth the Siege Gang. The biggest problem is that they have a Teferi. I'm just going to pass. They know about the cry of the Carnarium. That's a problem. I mean, it's not really that big of a problem, but it's kind of a problem. It just takes all of my cards. Um, do I want this shock to kill the deputy? I guess I don't have the mana to kill the deputy. I could also not use Cry. But I think I like using the cards they know about.
Because if they know about the cry of the Carnarium, they can play around it pretty well. I battled for the forces of good. Doesn't look good for us. Not looking too good. Hey, Dagmar. Need to get one of these captive audiences back. Okay. We're back in it. You may regret that choice. Back in it. And we have eight lands. So with Karn, we're at nine permanents. We're one permanent away from turning on the Arch of Araska. All right, I can just go get Contempt. Never mind. Not back in it. All right, still in it. Uh-oh. Still in it. <laughs> yeah, I... I like mid-range decks a whole lot, uh, Big Pop. That's like my that's my favorite types, uh, especially green mid-range decks. They didn't get their one point of damage in with that deputy first. Ah, land number nine. Araska still not turned on. Now, here we go. Dang. Did we do any scrying? I don't think we did. No. One, two, three, four, five. So I'd have three mana. Scrying first, I have two mana. I could follow get Goblin back. That's not a bad idea. Think I should go get Goblin Dude? Well, we're out of captive audiences. They surveilled over the Mortify, so they kept Mortify in their deck. I don't know, I like Treasure Map. But maybe I'm too far behind. We still got a few turns though. It's gonna be kinda hard to win this game. That's a good one. See, I feel like Like, I feel like this this card's like a removal spell. So I don't really didn't really want to get Goblin Creature. But I guess a Goblin Creature would still be able to trade. The one thing, even with a removal spell. Are we going to be able to flip the treasure map next turn? 
Um, unless I want to, you know, I could crack the Memorial of Folly also. We'll, you know, see what happens here. I guess scrying with treasure map doesn't matter a whole lot now. Ooh. How are we doing on mana? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, I can't sack with Siege Gang also. See, I want to Angrath and tick up and make them discard that last card and then play Siege Gang. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Here, no fire, no steel. Ah, uh, there's another deputy. No deputies for you. All right, we're down to three. I do like we got our treasure map back. I was pretty happy with that attack by our opponent. I guess they just knew that we could we could minus Angrath and steal it, but um no I'm, I'm gonna try to ultimate this Angrath. No They're at thirteen cards in library. I forgot to stop, but it worked out just fine for us. No fire, no steel. I didn't block the last turn because it seemed they would play like a different creature that would want to be chump blocking. Because it is just one damage. No fire, no steel. I think we got this. I, it, yeah, Angrath t takes eight's ultimate. I need to wait another turn to be able to ultimate it. All right, I've never ultimated Angrath before. First time. Cool animation. No, opponent, I want to see if there's a cool animation. It's a meteor shower? Really? Man, we're, we're never going to see it, right? It happened like the other day we were trying to ultimate and see it. That's all I wanted to do with that game. So I just I just wanted to see the that animation. Hmm. That's sad. Hey, Tig. Alright, we are... 2 and 1. <laughs> Thanks, not Zach. Dun, 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 dun. That's a lot of good cards. That's a lot of good cards. 
Well, I have no answer to Wilderness Reclamation. Uh, but I don't really have anything in general for Teferi. Like, I'm, I'm taking the Teferi here because I don't, I don't have anything for it. And I'm just going to hope to have some stuff for the other things. Which donation deck am I really interested in? Um, honestly, I like all of these today. I, I really do like all of our donation decks today. I think I, uh, I'm i actually excited to play all of these. Like every single one. No, nah, we can't kill Reclamation. Eat good choice. Um, all my kids are my favorite. <laughs> no, I like I like uh, cause I Mardu Control is an archetype that I I think is potentially like well positioned and and one that I want to explore further. And so we're kind of playing. Uh, two different ends of Mardu Control here with our first two decks with uh, Rakdos Control and then Orzhov Control. And Naya Dinosaurs, of course, that's that's a deck that I played uh, a decent amount. Uh, a good amount last time that I really liked. Last format. And so I'm excited about that. Hmm. I kind of want to just play New Karn. Just play New Karn minus get Angrath. You'd be patient. I mean, we're not going to be able to play Angrath until next turn anyway. Yeah, we're playing against Bant Nexus right now. Um, and so this Naya Dinosaurs has some different stuff. Like we have a bunch of commune with dinosaurs and we're playing... Um, Right on schedule. Well, that's Let's skip to the good. Part. That's game. And we're playing uh, Rhythm of the Wild, so that'll be interesting to see how that does. And and Domri, uh, I haven't gotten to play Domri too much yet. Um, Naya Dinosaurs has Llanowar Elves also, as the only other non-dinosaur creature is Llanowar Elf. Every other creature in the deck is a dinosaur, including Sideboard. And then, yeah, Esper Angels. We've had a lot of success with different Angel decks, and I'm pretty excited to try out uh, Dive Down and Negate. Uh, to go along with the uh, the black white angels with like Seraph of the Scales and then the other ones and everything you know what? like that. I'm not done yet. You're just playing Sultai, Esper, and Nexus. Yeah, those decks are boring. Hand was really good. I don't know if I really have enough in this sideboard to help us out too much. I mean, it, we'll get to bring in the Bedevil, Spyglass. Uh, those will certainly help. Bloodfast, an extra, one extra duress. Star of Extinction's fine in this matchup. Uh, destroying their lands, especially these lands with Gift of Paradises, is fine.
How does Nexus work? Um, yeah, it's just instant speed spell that allows the caster to take an additional turn. So that's why we haven't taken a turn in a while. I have another one. Our hand's been really, really good. This kind of matchup, we want them stuck with a lot of fogs in their hands. Fogs and settles and creature removal and stuff like that. They haven't had it. No time for a break. Yeah, that is that is their way to win by taking infinite turns and ultimating to fairy. This one has Dawn of Hope, so like Dawn of Hope kills you. Like the creatures when they take in infinite turns. Yeah, I definitely have a, a bunch of Biogenic Ooze decks. You can find all my decks there in Stream Decker. There's a lot of them with Biogenic Ooze. I mean, of course, if they have another Nexus, I'm, I'm good scooping. Like, we have to get rid of the Teferi. Uh, what do I think of Abzan in Standard? I think Abzan has a lot of potential. There's a whole lot of good cards in Abzan. Alright. Uh, did all, Waited all that time just to see if we drew a, a, a card that would be able to kill Teferi. We didn't do it. Oh, Field of Ruin's nice, too. Um, so, Coil, Cast Down, Shock, Cry of the Carnarium. We have too many dead cards. We're going to have to play one of these. I guess I'm playing a Shock. They could have Krasis in after sideboarding. I've seen a lot of people bring in Krasis after sideboarding. I'll, I'll have a Cast Down in my deck, I guess. I mean, I have Bedevils and Contempts. And everything like that. Maybe I just have a shock. I'll just have a cast down. Shock's not gonna kill anything. Yeah, we have donation decks today. Bunch of a bunch of good ones. Thanks, that's enough. <clears throat> this This is gonna be a tough match to win. So this you know, this may be the end of our Rakdos control, but we'll see. Yeah, that's true. If they Teferi minus, then a shot can take it out of Teferi. I mean... Is this hand early winning? Captive Audience seems pretty sweet against our opponent. Yeah, let's, let's try it. We have a Contempt for a... Captive Audience seems awesome. Here. Because, um, you know, it's like they're up, they have lots of upkeep, so they have to choose one of those, especially the uh, discard your hand part. And we have a Contempt for a, a Teferi.
Karn's a good draw to, to help us hit land drops. Bleh. Man, did not get the, the fourth land, though. Their hand's been pretty good. Yeah, captive audience is pretty cool. Our opponent is kind of doing everything, though. I'm known for my excellent timing. We need to move quickly. Looks like they have a Nexus also. Uh. We're playing like a, a Rakdos control deck. Uh, but yeah, we have we have a few mana rocks in there to, to help us get towards our captive audience a little faster. Our opponents had pretty perfect hands. You know, them having wilderness reclamations into fairies. We even duressed the fairy away like the first time they had another one. And then also multiple nexuses. Like they're their hands have been, you know, really incredible. Like the one, one re reclamation, one to fairy, multiple nexuses. So we've just been getting crushed. All right, that's out of here. Now we need need lands for a star of extinction. I don't know if I can beat the Dawn of Hope though. Yeah, extra mana with Dawn of Hope. I don't even, I don't think we can even beat that. We really can't. We can't beat Dawn of Hope. Dawn of Hope is a perfect card against our deck with no enchantment removal. Especially when you get the extra mana with Wilderness Reclamation. That's just not, not even close. All right, so we went 2-2. Two -two. Um, definitely saw a hole there without having any enchantment removal. Um, I know that was that was something that J. Jack Jr., who made the deck, was saying that he was worried about. Uh, I was hoping, like, you know, saying that maybe we need to have a, a third caller for that. And I, I kind of think I agree there. So, um, yeah, I feel like just going just going Mardu, it's not difficult on the mana to have the three colors. And having Kaya's Wrath instead of, like, Cry of the Carnarium or even, even Star of Extinction, Kaya's Wrath is just an amazing uh, Wrath. Um... And uh, then you get Mortify also. So like Mortify, Kai's Wrath. It's, it's just kind of the reason to be playing three colors. Yeah, Mortify is fantastic also. So there we go. Yep. 
it, it is really hard to to play a deck in this metagame without enchantment removal. It is. Um, we did get to Captive Audience a couple times, and it was pretty sweet. Angrath was amazing. Uh, that card was really, really impressive uh, for us. I, I still liked the main deck Duress. I kind of like that going on. Um, so there's some takeaways here with uh, with our deck. Um, Ritual of Soot was, was better than Cry of the Carnarium basically all the time. There. And uh, yeah, there we go. All right. So we're going to be transitioning over from Rakdos over to the other side of Mardu with just uh, Orzov. We got a lot of fours over here. And ooh, we're a, a big time Smothering Tithe deck. That's what I'm talking about. Smothering Tithe, tithe is sweet. So there you go. All right, if you're watching this over on YouTube, uh, click on over to the Orzov control to check this one out here in a little bit. And, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. All right, see you for the next video.